Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to find out what's in the bag. And feel the love from Ipsy. I did get the Ipsy Ultimate box. You get a huge box from them. So stay tuned if you want to find out what's in the box. Keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to check out the Ipsy Ultimate Box. And also, if you like this look, I will have this look coming up very soon on my channel. So stay tuned. I did get the Ipsy, I believe it's called the Ultimate. And the bag. <laughs> this is the bag this month. It's a velour kind of soft Kind of a smaller bag. Usually the ultimate bags are a lot bigger. I like last month's, but this one's really soft. Let's see what we got in here, guys. The the card says feel the love. That is the kind of theme of this box. So let's get right into it. I do see there is a brush set from Shut. I'm not even going to try to say it. You guys can see right there. Shun S. I can't. Anyway, it looks like it's a cute little brush set. Let's check them out. Ugh. I hate when they put them in these little things. Oh, it is a real, that is a real nice. They're really cute synthetic. They're, they're really good for more hooded eyes because they are kind of a smaller, more detailed set. But they are a cute little set. You get one, two, three, five brushes in there. Cute little eye set. Now what do we have here? We have from Trula Skincare, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. What is this one? Nature's Cartel. And this, I guess I'm going to have to open to find out what this, what is this? No products. It just, the box is an advertisement. I've never seen that. It says 10% off. Uh, what does it say? $10 free, which means free from, uh, it's, the whole box is an advertisement for the brand. You get, there's three little, I think these are eyeshadows. Champagne Scandal. Oh, they're cream. This is a cream eyeshadow, I guess. I'm not real sure what these products are, guys. I'm a little confused. That is, that looks like, oh, they're cream. I guess they're cream eyeshadows. This is called Tan Line from Tahiti. I'm not real sure what these are. And 90s Nude. That's that one. It doesn't really, yeah, eyeshadow cream. These are cream eyeshadows. Very odd. I'm very disappointed with this item. I'm not, I don't want to sound like kind of, you know, funny, but come on, Etsy, tighten up. I thought you guys were getting better. All right. What do we got here? This is from Gold Fadden MD, Bright Eyes, Dark Circle Radiance. This is a peptide eye cream, I guess. And we have a, a lipstick, it looks like. Bully Fire Matte Manipulation Cream Matte Lipstick. And it is in the color Sunset Boulevard. There's a bullet style lipstick. And oh, that is a beautiful color. It looks more mauve. Well, it's hard because I have a dark pink background. <laughs> I have a pink background, so let's make it look a lot lighter than it is, but it's more of a mauve kind of tone. It's kind of right up my alley, but I'm I'm just not a bullet a bullet lipstick wear. I just never like the uh, Jeffrey Star lip ammunitions. I just never really got into them. I just I I prefer a liquid lip. I really do. And what do we have here? Oh, Tresonique powder stick in ultraviolet. I get, this is a highlighter stick. I've seen these before and they are pretty cool. They are kind of a cream highlighter product if I can get it open. I have seen one of these. I actually, I love the packaging. That is so adorable. 
you open it up and there it is there oh it's how cute look it has little stars on it and you have the highlighter product in there and it is that is so pretty that is very pretty I love that packaging I'm gonna put that on my shelf I have a shelf of minis I collect mini um, perfume bottles which companies are getting away from making those and I'm so mad Every time I turn around, it's like you can't find them anymore. We've got two little, like, sample sizes. I thought we were getting... Editing me here. I had mentioned about the deluxe sizes. Not even thinking that you get four deluxe uh, samples in the ultimate uh, Ipsy bag. So, sorry about that. Back to the video. Away from sample sizes, Ipsy. What's going on? <sighs> we have... Um, a coconut water cream which if it smells like coconut i'm all for it and we have a better bean clean face coffee cleanser i guess it's a coffee bean cleanser i'm dying i'm i'm just dead i'm dead it has a little safety thing so i can't really smell it but i will i'm gonna check that out i love coffee scented anything i'm just i'm not a coffee drinker isn't that weird i love the scent of coffee but i'm not I have stomach problems, so I can't drink it, but I'll just smell it all day long. This is Catherine Maladrino Dream, and this is a perfume. Oh, the perfume. Oh, I was just saying I collect minis, right? And we open up a rollerball. <laughs> I'm not big on rollerballs, but... You know, I could smell this when I opened the box, and I kept wondering why it smelled like perfume, and that's this right here. It's not really my type of scent. I'm a more fruity, more like, the ones you guys probably call sickening sweet is all about me. I love rose-scented stuff, too. Um, oh, we have a Violet Voss palette. We have the Berry Burst palette. How cute. I think I already have this one, so I'm not going to open it. But it has some really pretty kind of berry tones to it. And what else do we have? We have a Feel Harmony Rose. What did I just say about roses? Rose Petal Face Mask. Now, this is, if this doesn't have my name on it, I don't know what it does. Oh, it's one of those. I don't know if you've ever, they look really gross. But they're made with like rose petals and it's supposed to make, there's some kind of enzyme to it that really is good for your skin. But they smell like, it probably smells like roses. It's Ultra con Concentrate Toning Gel. Rich Rose Petal Essential Oils. Rose Flower Extract. How to use. Cleanse your face with warm water and dry thoroughly. Apply mask to your dry face and leave on for 10 minutes. Rinse off and dry face. This is more of a kind of moisturizing kind of... It, it helps to exfoliate the skin also too. Um, we also have a Grace and Stellar. This rose ain't thorny. Okay. I'm not sure what this is. Let's apply your favorite serum or facial oil over cleanse face start the chin using the oh these are roll these are face rollers let me get this open apparently this is face rollers i will i will die if this is in the shape of a rose or something because it, it said this rose ain't thorny so what do you think this is guys let me get this open If I can ever get, I am so bad about this. You know, they don't make this for people with nails. All right, let's get this. Oh, okay. It's a rose gold roller. How cute. I have like three of these, but this one is adorable. And it's, it's made out of uh, rose quartz. That's why they say this rose ain't thorny. That is adorable. I like the little box that comes out so cute with a little heart in the middle. That's a, and they give you the rose product, so you could roll that on out. That is my ultimate box, and here is everything in the bag, except for the rose, except for this, <laughs> and this. But everything else fits perfectly in the bag. You can zip your little bag up and be on your way. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Hey guys, editing me here again. I wanted to just put at the end of this, 
if she is just getting really just total lackluster with the whole box i am actually canceling one i gave them a shot with doing the ultimate one and honestly it's just a waste um really all these um companies are really getting like this look at boxy charm going through all the bs with i don't know if you've heard but the taking the packaging from one product and then having the actual makeup item inside of the packaging made in china for like no money and then pawning it us off on us as a real genuine you know product they they've now been caught with two different products doing it that way i have gotten several products with from them that i felt were not like the real ones and um you know ipsy just keeps picking up these like no name companies that if you research a lot of them they are just really low grade crap makeup you know and it's you're paying good money for these mystery boxes to get really like second rate products but anyway I figured I would put that in just to let you guys know. I just think it's getting to the point where if you want to buy cheap makeup, just go online and buy it because these bags are not the way to do it. At least that way you can pick out the items that you want and you can re know what the actual ingredients are in them because the ingredients that you're getting in half of these aren't even right. As we saw with the... Um, with the Ciate London blush, they went back and changed the ingredients on their webpage because the one on the box to Boxy Charm that went to everybody's home was wrong. Anyway, just my little rant about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.